Hello everybody and welcome back to I'm going to show you how you can install Forge for Minecraft 1.12.2. The first thing you want to do is hit the top link down in the description box and that's going to take you to uh, this page, the official Forge page, um, and that should also automatically take you to the 1.12.2 one. Um, here you're going to see two boxes, so the latest one and the recommended one. Um, I recommend to download the recommended one as that one is the safest um, and it should work the best. Um, you can also download the latest one but there isn't really a need to do that. So um, to download the recommended version um, you can just click on installer right over here so you can get the Forge 1.12.2 installer and it's quickly going to take you to um, an ad page where they're going to prompt you to get a CurseForge server. Um, after a few seconds of waiting you can use this skip button in the top over here. There's not really a way to get around all this. Um, anyways, as you can see over here it is a downloading in the bottom left. So now I'm in my downloads folder and as you can see I've got it right over here, Forge 1.12.2. Um, now we obviously still need to install this for Minecraft. So how we can do that is by just uh, double clicking on this over here and then we are going to want to select the install client option. You can change the location. Um, but I don't recommend doing that since it needs to install it inside Minecraft and otherwise it probably won't work. So you can just keep that as it is and then press OK. Um, then as you can see it's already finished. For you it might take a bit longer because it might need to download some libraries. So for me the message is successfully installed a client profile forged for version 1.12.2 into launcher. Um, you might have a bit of a longer one and it might say um, that it also downloaded this many libraries. Um, I already had forged 1.12.2 so for me it didn't take that long for you. You might need to wait one to two minutes. Anyways we can just click on OK and then we can just click away our downloads folder. We don't need that anymore. Um, now you can just head over to your Minecraft launcher um, and once it's loaded you should be able to check the versions box um, as you can see right over here and Forge 1.12.2 should automatically be selected. If it isn't then you can just go through here and then select Forge 1.12.2 which is uh, the one you just installed. And what you can do is you can head over to play and then it might need to download a few things. Once again, it might need to wait one to two minutes depending. Um, but for me, it can just immediately launch it, which is great. Um, as you can see, here we are, it's a loading. For you, it might look a little bit different because I do already have some mods installed for this. Anyways, let's make this a full screen, shall we? Actually, I don't want to make it tabbed because I'm going to show you how to um, actually insert a mod. So to get a mod inside, um, what you're going to want to do is go over to the mods option right over here. And here you're going to see all your mods. Um, and you probably won't have any um, or maybe just one or two standard things here like the Forge Mod Loader. Um, I do have a few mods um, and now there's two ways to get them in. Number one is that there might be a button here which says open mods folder. This is going to allow you to open the mods folder and drag your mods in there. I don't actually have that um, and you might not either. So then the way to get to it is to press Windows and R key at the same time and then this run box should pop up. Then what you want to type in is percentage sign app data and then another percentage sign as you can see right here. Then you can just click on OK um, and then as you can see this window is going to pop up and this should take you into roaming. If it doesn't and you're right over here you want to click on roaming. Yeah, and it might already put you in there. Then one of the top folders should be dot Minecraft. Yeah, you can just open that up. Um, and then let's elongate this a little bit. There we go. That's convenient. Um, then one of these folders over here should be a folder called mods. Um, and here we are. This is where you can drag 
all your mods once you've downloaded them from, for example, CurseForge, but of course you can also download them from other places. Um, you can just download those and then just drag them into this folder. Um, that's how you get them. Um, if you do have the open mods folder button right down here, then what you can do is you can just simply click on that button and then this exact same folder will open up. Um, anyways, once you've dragged your mods in there, what you can do is you can just um, click on them and then make sure that they're activated. Um, otherwise, you can just press on done, go into single player probably, and then you can just load up any world and get started playing with the mods because they should be automatically enabled. Anyways, uh, that was how to install Forge 112.2 on Minecraft. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below. But for right now, I thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.